Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to my channel Hummingbird Tarot. Um, today I have a message for you from Spirit for January carrying us through to 2022. Um, and I am Claire Audient and Spirit gave me a song for you guys today. It's from Enya and it's called Flora's Secret. I'll be posting this song down in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, the song I'm feeling Spirit is saying to me is um, about paying attention to your dreams, um, that there's a soulmate connection in your life uh, that is either with you currently or that is coming into your life. Um, be in touch with the earth. Do whatever you can to be green, to be earth conscious. Um, Spirit wants you to connect to the earth. And this is where you're going to find your true love, your true soul connection um, with your soulmate um, because they're going to be involved with this with you. Uh, also, um, I saw 1010 right before I did your reading, which is about reaching your potential and life purpose. Also, this is signifying a spiritual awakening for you guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and light this candle here for us. We'll see how that flame lights up. It's steady, strong. Oh yes. Slow to start, but then it's steady, strong, standing flame. Um, wow, it grew from such a small flame to it's a huge flame. Um, so I'm just feeling this strong connection and look how it's going back. You know, it's dying down a little bit. That's so beautiful. This is the first reading I've done that for today. Um, I just really, I think that was, um, I just was called to do that for you guys. So set an intention, uh, like go light a candle, set an intention, um, for your January, um, for getting connected to the earth. Okay. I'm going to start you guys off with some Oracle cards. Start you off with a few oracle cards and see how it connects um, for you guys. You know, if these messages don't resonate for you, you know, this just might not be a reading for you guys. Um, but I feel strongly that there are people out here, our beautiful Aries out here, that need to hear these messages. Wow, so I got two cards for you right away i usually only do one but i got we've got channeling with the number three which is i'm feeling like spirit is strongly speaking to you guys in your dreams you're going to be channeling messages from spirit um spirit wants you to be open open up your um, third eye open up your crown chakras um be open for this channeling um you are a conduit for spirit um if you're tapping into the earth, uh, earth energy, um, spirit is saying for sure, um, they're speaking to you within the, within the energy of the earth and also, you know, with uh, meditation, um, anything that you can do to go inward in that um, regard, spirit is going to be talking through you. So trust in your intuition, trust your thoughts, trust the signs, spirit is talking to you. You're highly awakened. That 1010 is showing me that you're awakened. Um, you know what's going on. And then we have the number seven for you, um, which is nothing has gone wrong. So I want to read this one for you guys just because I, I think it's important and exactly what it means um, in the book. Um, I just want to see because I haven't actually pulled that card very often. But if you're having any worries in your life that maybe you've made the wrong decision or have had the wrong step in your life, that this is nothing has gone wrong. Um, an obstacle launches you into new loving requests. So an obstacle launches new loving requests. So um, something that you've gone through recently, like um, a, maybe a purging of uh, old toxic relationships, 
your business falling apart, um, something that's stopping you from um, perhaps doing what you think you need to be doing um, is stopping you for a reason. But this nothing has gone wrong. This is just trying to redirect you into the new energy that you need to be in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read this for you guys. In the last few days, a change came out of the blue. It may have felt like your body and mind moved through a crack in reality as your life altered course so suddenly. Deep within, you have been craving change, and this situation brings new and different experiences to your life. You may be feeling a little lightheaded and dazzled by the brilliance of this expanded version of you, but you are doing so well. It is now time to catch your breath and settle into your new outlook. Yes, because channeling is coming to you. Spirit has something to say through you and what you're doing in the world. This is an opportunity to look at your thoughts, ideas, and your reactions to your potential success. As you become aware and implement change, you can rise above the limits, people, or situations that have been placed on you. This card depicts the trigram of the I Ching, the Book of Changes, with the Yin Yang symbol. This is the reminder that everything changes, that nothing can exist on our physical plane without its opposite, and neither is superior to the other. You can't stop anything that has manifested, but it can serve as inspiration to create new paths aligned with your soul truth. So Spirit is asking you to tap into your soul truth and do not um, fight the change that's coming, even though it might feel hard right now. Surrender to that change. Um, like I said, I got 1010 10 for you. You're going through this giant awakening, um, and spirit has plans for you, um, to channel you through your creative, um, endeavors and whatever you're working on that is coming from your true authentic self. Powerful, powerful card. It's a powerful reading. Okay. So next I'm going to pull another chakra oracle card for you sometimes these cards have a tendency to be a little hard on us um yes and we've got grief here which is uh, related to your heart chakra so you have been going through something here something that's giving you grief breaking your heart um also i'm seeing like activism for animals in this card that you're grieving for um for the way that animals are treated in this world, which is a big thing. And just in, even in the New York Times, there was a big article about um, how factory farmings are just going to be the downfall and the like total shame of this, this century. Um, so, yes. Uh, grief in this card says, Grief is love without a place to go. Inspiration. Um, Penelope and Pickle. So this is Penelope and Pickle here. It's really cute how they do that. Remind us that what we reveal, we can heal. Give yourself time. You will love again. If you honor your pain, it will change your life. And then this card asks you to, um, is lingering grief preventing me from progress? What can I see in my heart? So, um, Spirit wants you to really look within your heart, um, look past this grief that you're feeling and strongly Spirit wants you to move on. This loved one that has left your life has left your life for a purpose. If it's just a separation situation, a breakup, um, you know, or just a friend that, you know, something just strongly fell apart then it, that fell apart for a reason. Um, it's okay to grieve, but we have to move on because spirit says that, that, that spirit has something else waiting for you, something that is going to um, take place. Uh, because like I say, I'm seeing soulmate energy moving towards you. And so you have to make room for this new these new relationships that are strong connections to your heart, to your spirit that are going to help you move forward with whatever endeavors you're working on now. If this is someone that you've lost through death, um, that, that person really wants you to move on and aspire to your greatest um, potential. 
and that's all about that 1010 you know that spirit wants you to to transport yourself into that highest potential of who you are your true authentic self okay because really powerful cards here for you today um next i'm going to pull an animal spirit oracle for you and this like i said i'm seeing a dog here i'm seeing animals already in your reading so Spirit, can you give our beautiful Aries um, an animal spirit? And this could, um, this animal could be something where it has messages for you. And I got three. I'm, I, I only want one spirit animal. Please give us one spirit animal for Aries. And this could be a sign for you, this animal. Okay, shark. We got shark, which is a strong water element, um, of course. Um, but this is all about um, emotional healing um, and being honest and tell, being your true, authentic self. Really, it's so important because spirit is saying, "Be honest. Be honest." This is gonna um, it. This is gonna be difficult for people to do. Um, being honest is really hard, especially in emotional relationship type situations where you know you've been holding back um you might you want to tell your truth to someone but you're figuring that this is going to hurt them and um i'm gonna i'm gonna hold it back because i don't want to hurt other people but the thing is that you're hurting them even more because you're building up anger and resentment towards them and shark also asks you to not use your teeth um, when you're telling the your honest true self to these people who um you feel like you haven't been honest with um shark really wants you to like not use your teeth and tear them apart so doing it with love is super duper important so um yeah i'm just feeling very strongly that it's just there's a very emotional you've got this heart chakra um situation going on nothing has gone wrong the number seven is a really high spiritual number it's, just, it's really this the number of spirit uh, the universe um, everything the higher power is really represented by seven um so yeah shark is wanting you to deal with your emotions but not doing it in an angry way and truly to move through shark energy um you need to um, be honest to, to be balanced so being honest is so hard, but it's so cleansing when we can do that and reveal our true selves. If people aren't willing to hear your true, honest um, self and what your story is and why you're feeling a certain way, then they're not meant to be in your life. So I pulled some tarot cards for you right away. We've got the ma magician, which is like you are a powerful manifester of your desires, of your dreams very um, intense and beautiful card um, you really have what it takes to get stuff done um, to manifest um, anything you know he's got the the wand the sword the cup and the pinnacle he really can make whatever he wants into reality and spirit is saying that you are the magician you can um, achieve any any goal that you want to when you move through this energy because gosh i mean you got it here with the channeling here spirit is really with you and wants to use you as um, a conduit for the the messages that spirit has coming toward us as a collective humanity um, again the shark is saying be honest because that's the the the, the message of um, spirit is um, to stand in truth and that is really the message that truth is uh, more uh, is worth more than anything else truth and love doing it with love giving our truth with love and we have the page of cups and yes this is truth this is love this is um a creative uh emotional wonderful um card here um you have everything that you need your emotions are good. There's something new coming into your life, a beautiful new connection um, with this page, maybe a younger person, maybe a little bit younger than you. Um, uh, a wonderful, uh, um, just a loving card there. And then yes, it's coming for the eight of wands is coming. It's coming towards you quickly. Um, creative energy, creative um, 
endeavors, manifestations are coming to you quickly. Um, it's a powerful card of creativity and your manifestations coming under the magician there. Can we um, get some clarification on the page of cups for our beautiful Aries? Is this a soulmate connection, a new friendship, a new emotional uh, relationship coming toward them? It's a collaboration of sorts. Um, yes, there's going to be this page, this emotional page is coming in for a, uh, for a collaboration. And with your song, with your Enya song, I did see that, that there was going to be a soul connection, a soulmate connection coming in to help you get connected to the earth. And gosh, these two things just flew out of the deck as I picked them up. I mean, all by themselves. I don't know if you saw that. Ace of Wands, new creative forces, new creative energies, a new beginning in their, in these creative um, endeavors that you're doing. And the Queen of Swords, you know, you, you know, it, that's a real strong feminine energy. Um, she gets a lot of flack uh, because she speaks her truth and she, she, she's clear with her words and she lets people know what's really going on. And some people take her as being kind of aggressive, but she does it with love and she is strongly connected with the, the um, queen of uh, cups. Um, she just doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve necessarily. And, um, but this is this is really speaking your word, standing strong in your word and being true. And again, that goes back to the shark energy here. Um, Spirit really wants you to be honest and true and open with people and relationships in your life. Um, now, I had the devil flip out um, and then go back in. I'm not sure. And then it was reversed. I don't really do reversals. But um, with this card... You know, you might be coming out of addiction, things that bind you. Um, these chains are loosely bound around this, these people. Um, this could reflect, um, this is also, you know, the opposite card of this is the lovers. And so maybe you've been having some difficulties. If you're in a relationship currently, maybe you have some difficulties in your relationship. Um, but due to addiction, due to um, bad habits, um, things like of that nature, but, um, it's reversed. So you guys are coming out of that. If you're in a current relationship now, um, also this could be talking about the people that you need to be talking to. Um, I'm going to keep this reversed just because, um, I just feel it. I feel it for you. Um, that you're coming out of that. You're, you're, um, speaking your truth is a huge part of it, perhaps. Um, and like I said, I'm feeling that, that with that honesty, that that's what is needed at this moment in this collaboration, this new emotional attachments, um, a change of, uh, emotional, uh, attachments with that. Yeah. So this collaboration. So these I see kind of working together and the energy of that is, um, you know, where there was perhaps conflict or addiction or something that was holding you guys back. You're coming into strong connection here with this collaboration. And that's through honesty, honesty and being true to one another. I'm going to pull some love Oracle, lovers Oracle cards for you guys. Just to get some more clarification on love connections for Aries. See, I see this, this, the soulmate connection and the earth and the peace dove. Oh my God. So beautiful. Twin flames, your passions ignite. So if you're not in a relationship, I see there's a twin flame out there for you, a soulmate connection. Um, and you're coming together to work together, to collaborate together on this spiritual project. Um, I really do see a strong spiritual project for you guys working closely with the earth, with animals, um, just getting out there, your feet on the ground. Um, any more messages for our 
Aries about our spiritual connections with love. Okay, two of them came out for you. So it was beautiful. She's the moon. She's bathing in the light of the moon. Um, it looks like healing, perhaps surrender. Yes, surrender. At, at times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Yes, correct. Um, we have to surrender, get, let go of the grief that we're holding in our hearts to help heal our heart chakra. We have to just let go, surrender to the new because the old situations, the old relationships that are have been in our lives that may have been toxic, that just weren't working out, that we weren't aligning together. They're, they Spirit wants you to surrender those and move into this new way of thinking, being your true self, being honest. New relationships are coming into your life. Amazing, important relationships, soul connections. And then we have balance. Again, I see, you know, the, we've got the yin yang in there again. So balance is important. And then I seeing this strong soulmate connections for you guys. Twin flames coming to you, soulmate connections. The balance. Love is not always about agreeing. Just for the sake of it, a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And that is all about twin flames. They support and challenge us and they see us like a mirror, a reflection, and they call us out on our shit. And um, that's what's so amazing about those twin flames relationship. They're calling you to be your best and highest self. Amazing reading. Such a strong, powerful reading for Aries. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull some tea leaf oracle cards for you. Or tea leaf fortune cards, actually. Um, I have all the cards in the description box below if you're interested in what I'm using. All right. What little tea leaf fortunes do we have coming for January for our Aries? Beautiful Aries. Okay, so first of all, we have Target, a goal-oriented person. So your soulmate or your this um, soul connection, this emotional new connection coming into your life um, as a goal-oriented person, or this could be your person, or this could be you um, if you're in a current relationship, um, and that's good. Being goal-oriented is really good. Um, because we have work to do this year. Skull, hidden secrets that can harm you. So this is all about the truth and honesty. It's time to get the skeletons out of the closet and tell your your true um, authentic self and tell that to tell them this this needs to happen to your for your soulmate um, and for the people that are closest to you that you are been, have been keeping secrets from, these skeletons need to come out of the closet. It's time. It could harm you in the long run if you don't, even though it's hard work. Um, parrot, someone will gossip about all of your secrets. So interesting. So we have a lot of like, be honest, tell your secrets. And then we said, someone will gossip about all your secrets. So be aware. Please be aware there is somebody that doesn't have your best interest and um, you know who that person is when you go within. You know in your deepest part of your soul this person who doesn't have your best interest. Don't go talking to them about what your secrets are. What your um, don't, don't be honest with this person and you know who this person is in your life. Um, Stay away from them. This is a toxic person that you need to let go of um, to make room for these new um, wonderful emotional connections that are coming into your life. Um, so, yes, just be careful of that. Um, in other words, Spirit wants you to be open and honest with the people who really love and care about you that you've been having some maybe difficulties with because you haven't been able to feel like you can be honest with them and tell them about your true self or your true desires, but how you want to move forward. Um, like I said, go easy. 
um, on yourself. Go easy on other people. You don't want to tear them to shreds with your um, with their sharp shark teeth. Um, and I'm seeing so much um, moving forward for you in January and continuing on this year. We have a lot of work to do, and uh, you guys are right on the right path. Um, sending you lots of love and light for your new year, January, and um, wishing you all the best. Please comment in the sec comment section below. Let me know what's going on. If you feel like talking, I'm here. I am not the gossip, but <laughs> um, just wishing you all, all the best. Okay, you take care. Lots of love and light. Bye-bye.